everyone, it's me, Ex-Cadenza. Sorry about the mess behind me. I'm currently rearranging the basement, so like, it's the situation. Anyways, the thing I just knocked over and what we're going to be opening today is Cheer Sunny from Rainbow High. I actually got her like a week and a half ago, finally, <laughs> but I never ended up opening her because, um, I don't know. I don't really have much of an excuse. I just, I am not mentally at my best so I don't want to be posting videos where I'm faking anything because I like to be as authentic as possible so I on good days when I'm like doing great and I'm in a good mood and I feel like making videos it's nice to film a bunch of them pre-film them so like <laughs> uh last week or the week before y'all just literally that was all up like filmed on the same one or two days it was crazy um, anyway, Cheer Sunny, I'm so excited about. She was one of my- Bubba, no. She was one of my favorites from the actual design, and it was driving me crazy that I didn't have them all. And it took me forever to find her, but I finally did. So, let's get her out of the box so we can see how she is. She's so pretty, by the way. Everyone was telling me that this was the best cheer doll. I obviously didn't look too closely, but after I got my display, I was obsessively staring at the art of Sunny and just thinking like, ugh. I really want her ah, and I couldn't find her and I like I checked so many stores and it was a whole thing but thankfully I finally have managed to get her into my collection and so far just from looking at her in the box and stuff I'm gonna say she's worth it okay so she comes with a yellow comb we don't really care about that. What I've been doing is just putting this back in here and then displaying these on my little store display because it needs to be fully stocked. <laughs> Anyways, she is so pretty. First of all, I love the crimped hair that they're doing. Her and Ruby both have crimped hair and it is so soft and nice. I'm really scared to wash out the gel though because I don't know that the crimps will stay. I know that nylon will hold the crimps, crimped crimps, but I don't know if me washing the hair out will harm them in any way. If you guys have either Ruby or Sunny and have washed their hair out, let me know. It's not overly gelled though, so I don't think I'm gonna wash it out at least for a little while. Cause considering that these are very crimped, I'm impressed that they're not super gelled. They're really soft, um, really, really nice. I like that these bows appear to be the ones that are on Kaya's packaging, am I wrong? I would go get Kaya's packaging, but I don't really know where it is right now because we're rearranging everything. Um, her face is so cute. I love Sunny in the show. She's probably my favorite character, but there's not a lot of characters that have actually gotten any kind of characterization in the show yet. So it's not really saying much that she's my favorite. Her and Amaya so far, I really, really love. Um, but her series one doll really disappointed me. And the series one re-release doll that I have is actually much better, but I've been customizing those ones, so. Yeah, but I'm really impressed with this doll. She looks beautiful. I love her face. I love how Sunny looks without the shine to her skin. I feel like the shine to her skin really messed with her skin tone and makes her look interesting in pictures. Like I've seen people do a great job with it, but I guess I'm not the best at lighting if you can't tell. So I can never get her to look good in pictures, which is a shame because I really, really like Sunny and I love her style too. These bangs are really nice. They're super soft and they're not gelled at all actually. They're just there. They're Doll companies never root bangs correctly, so they never stay where they're supposed to. These are rooted perfectly and heat set. These aren't going anywhere unless you really mess with them. Thank you, MGA. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I love, love, love this makeup. It has multiple layers. It's glittery. It's so pretty. Mine actually has a lot less glitter on this side than the other, but that kind of thing doesn't bother me. Here, let me move my light so you can see better. She has a 19 on one cheek and a star with RH on the other cheek. And her lipstick, it's like a... It's a pink, but it has more of like a peachy undertone. It's really pretty. And it has like a, a red right on the inside. Multiple layers of paint used there. Super pretty. And they do have that black line. I It's come to my attention that people think that black line is a defect. That's part of the design. All right. She is wearing a one-piece top that has a hoodie on it. A hoodie on it? It has a hood. Um, and it like, it makes it look like it's one of those... These are like in fashion right now where people just wear this like cropped hoodie that's cropped to here and I find it so cute. 
so cute. So that's what this is emulating. And it says SPA on one shoulder and then it continues on to say Arkle on the or Urkel on the other shoulder, Sparkle. It's the Supreme thing. Love it. Her hood has Velcro on the back so you can move it around. It doesn't fit over her head, but we weren't expecting it to. You know how ridiculously huge that would be if it did. Um, love the little drawstrings. Very grateful that she came with two drawstrings. My Ruby did not. <laughs> anyway, she has a pleated skirt, but it's actually just a kind of like a pencil skirt. Mine's bent a little bit. I'm trying to bend it back where it's supposed to be. Sorry. Come on. She's got this like pencil skirt and it's and then it just has like a half pleated skirt over it. It's super pretty. Um, I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I really appreciate that the Rainbow High designers when they were designing this cheer line didn't just say, okay, tank tops and pleated skirts. We did it. Only two of them feature anything remotely similar to a pleated skirt and neither of them are actually just pleated skirts. That is so creative and yet they still get the point across that these are cheer dolls. I love it. I love it. They're so creative. And then I, I also really love that Sunny's wearing long sleeves. Um, she has her pom-poms. <laughs> Sorry. And then her varsity socks up to her knees. I really, really like all the varsity socks. These are going to be so fun to play around with whenever I'm like changing outfits and trying to take pictures and stuff. Maybe, maybe something on my channel related to taking pictures of the Rainbow High Dolls is coming up. Who knows? And then her shoes remind me a lot of Ruby's shoes where they have the Los Angeles address. Oh my goodness. The Los Angeles address on them. They actually have that off-white tag on them, so I'm assuming that's what it is. No, I'm not fashion literate at all. It's just that somebody told me in my Skylar review that that was from Off-White. And then in a Doja Cat song, she says Off-White. And I think she's referring to the brand. <laughs> so I know. Thank you for all the applause. Oh my god, I just noticed you can see my Rainbow High shelf behind me and it's a mess. They all fell over when I moved the shelf. <laughs> um... Anyways, that's it for this review of Cheer Sunny. I'm sorry this one's a little bit different. I am in a great mood and I really wanted to make a video today, but oh, I'm exhausted. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to see more. I now have reviews of every single cheer girl on my channel. If you're looking for those, just go look. Um, and stay tuned for more Rainbow High content. I have another custom coming soon. Um, I just need like 12 hours to do the custom because they take forever. And then my... <laughs> My job, I quit, so they're, like, giving me ridiculous amounts of hours, I guess, to, like... There's this whole situation with the the world situation at my job. I don't know. <laughs> so I have a ridiculous amount of hours, so um, I might not be able to do a custom for a little while. I'm really gonna try, but the way my motivation works, I think I've said this in another video, I have to do things all in one go. If I do ten minutes of the custom here, two hours here, three hours there, I, I physically can't compartmentalize work like that unless there's an end goal to each step. Like, I would have to finish the entire reroute in one sitting. I would have to finish the entire repaint in one sitting, you know? I can't, I don't know. It's in my brain. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real this time, bye.